Hello mis amigos and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, <laughs> we're gonna answer some question. I always say we, but I'm the only one doing anything. Why are you not doing anything? Huh? Anyway, this is an all-inclusive channel. <laughs> I'm gonna do it all for you guys, with you guys. It's been a while since we've done some talking on this channel. I feel like all I do is talk. In most videos, I try not to talk too much, but I end up talking a lot, but that's not the purpose of the videos. But in this video, the purpose is talking, because I will talk. I don't know, what is the intro to a Q&A that is not an intro to a Q&A, even though it's supposed to be an intro to a Q&A? I feel like you because of edginess. Yeah, that's what I mean, but at the end of the day, it's in Q&A. Find a better name for it. You ask, I answer. I'm a girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, so this is our first yeah, yeah. You ask, I answer. Wink. My intros are always long. I feel like I've forgotten something. Maybe I'll even answer a question that most of you guys have. <laughs> you never know, unless you've read the title. Potentially, you never know until you know. Anyway. This sucks, they can't even see chili. Chonkadonk. <laughs> Chonkadolini baboni. Ooh, I look so happy and cute. Oh, 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 oh sorry. <laughs> I feel left out, I don't know what to do. <laughs> 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 Guys, I think we're ready now for question number one. Aber hast du auch gesagt, dass das scandalous questions sind? I said scandalous. Especially scandalous. Now I'm starting to get nervous. I'm sweating. Okay, the first question. Oh my god, now I'm nervous. Why do you dislike so much food? <laughs> if there's one thing that triggers me. <laughs> oh. I don't dislike a lot of food. Except? Three things. I only hate three. Okay, maybe, maybe it's time to put tofu on the list as well. <laughs> it's four things now. It's just potatoes, watermelons, eggs, and tofu, I guess. Yes, I don't eat meat, but like I used to like it. I yeah, just, that doesn't count. Yeah, that doesn't count. So these are the only four things I do not like. And if they're the... And everything I make. <laughs> Sometimes it's just very cheesy. So you don't like cheese? No, I don't like an excessive amount of cheese. No, but honestly, I eat a lot of food. I wouldn't consider myself a picky eater. And I refuse <laughs> to have people think that I'm a picky eater because I'm really not. I mean, and also, Naomi likes to exaggerate my opinions. Make it look like I hate everything. Yes, it's my fault. Yeah. Now I'm furious. That is me being furious, by the way. <laughs> not off to a great start. <laughs> okay, next question. Oh my God, now. Do you like the food that Naomi makes? <laughs> I mean, sometimes I do. Okay, next question. <laughs> if you'd have to give up on something forever, what would it be? Coffee or living with Naomi and your cats? Ah, uh, I mean, when would I have to give up on it? Now? Now and forever. Now, after you have another coffee. I'm gonna just get myself a chili replacement and taco. And Naomi? I'll find another one. I'm so good at making friends. <laughs> Comes easily to me. I mean, yeah, I guess I can somehow manage to find an alternative. I mean, I did go two months without coffee last year, so. Two months equals forever. Yeah, and then I went back because I did it because everyone said it cures your anxiety or it triggers your anxiety drinking coffee and n nothing happened. And so I just went back to coffee. Mm, damn it, people are horrible. <laughs> Great commentary. <laughs> but we didn't even get to the juicy questions. Oh my god, I'm basically sliding off my chair already. First time you drank experience. <laughs> Do you know the first time you ever drank? Yes. Your first sip or like your first excessive drinking experience? I would say excessive. But for you, it's a sip. I don't remember my first time, honestly. Might have also been okay. my last time. <laughs> okay, next question. Do you shave your armpit hair? I trim it. Oh, really? So you never shave completely? I used to, yes. Then I embraced my Italian hair. <laughs> Do you still trim it? I don't embrace it fully. When's the last time you were flat out rejected and how did you handle it? <laughs> Not great. 
I mean, how are you supposed to handle that? Great. I, I think mean, it's more of a, how did you like get through it? What did I do? I cried and then I pretended I liked poetry and I actually did like poetry, but like only shortly after <laughs> and then never. Not anymore? No, I kind of <laughs> grew out of that. <laughs> Does that mean I'm healed? <laughs> it feels so much more nerve-wracking to have someone else ask the question. Okay, next question. The next question, oh my god. Have you ever like bomb bomb with Naomi? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you ever bomb with me? I'm just, I can't. So all assume it anyway. We never bomb bombed, but maybe we pom pomed. Whatever that means. It's the other way around. <gasps> Is that so? We did that, don't you remember? Life's a blur. Preferi, preferias vivir con otra persona? No. Do you know what it says? Hast du jemals eine andere Person preferiert? <laughs> what does that mean? No, I, I could not live with another person, like, then I'd live alone, probably. <laughs> well, I pick all the questions about me. <laughs> what annoys you about Naomi? Her way of over-dramatizing my opinion. <laughs> You're basically the TikTok sound I just noticed. Or do you just not like me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a GG. Oh. You don't like that? Or do you just not like me? Sorry, I don't treat you like a goddess. Especially when it comes to your food that I maybe sometimes I don't love. <laughs> but I feel like now I should know what annoys you about me, me about you. What? No, this is questions for you. Oh opinion. my god, this just seems like a setup. Okay, next question. What is your sexual orientation? I'm gay. <laughs> Okay, next question. Keep them coming. Are you bi? No. <laughs> are you straight? No. Are you gay? Yes. How are your plans going? Good. What's your sexuality? Gay. Do you label your sexuality? Yes. What's your sexuality? Guy. <laughs> Four. Okay, next question. How did you change the title? Did they? Mm. How many partners did you have? Oh. <laughs> What do we consider partners? <laughs> Your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Not people out of shows you watch. <gasps> the list is short. It doesn't exist. <laughs> One? Oh my no! I'm, yes. not, I'm not counting that. Yes! Those no. were at least two weeks. I think it does run 10 days and we didn't even see each other. Or that Teresa's to fun aus der sechsten Klasse. That's one literally can now so long. I was maybe in like a 10 day relationship that I would not consider a relationship because we didn't even see each other during, during the, the 10 day relationship. Yeah. But then also I was in another relationship with a girl in fifth grade and that lasted even longer I think. That were about three weeks. We hugged each morning before school and then she was too embarrassed of me and then we kind of split ways. <laughs> but I think her friends knew about me. That's it. Back then I thought you loved me. Oh no, were you heartbroken that I was in a relationship? No, it wasn't when you were in a relationship. It was like before. Oh, uh, like, yeah, I think I thought so as well at some point. Me? Like, mm -hmm. oh really? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, and the saddest thing though is she broke up with me through... She didn't even tell me. <laughs> so her sister was my sister's best friend and they were in a class together as well. And they were on a class trip. During that class trip, they were gone for like four days or so. I called my sister <laughs> and then she had to ask her best friend. Then we hung up and then her best friend had to call that person. <laughs> and then my sister called me again and then she told me, I know. I was like pretending to cry and she's like, you're not really crying, are you? <laughs> so that was my first heartbreak. Did you ever talk? <laughs> what do you wear to bed? Boxers and a t-shirt. Sometimes not even a t-shirt. <gasps> Only recently, actually. <laughs> Your room walls really think you're hot. No one ever saw you like this. Maybe, actually. Okay. <laughs> but I never saw you like this. Don't think you ever will. Unless you storm into my room, which I would hate you forever for. <laughs> Why would I do that? Maybe you just won the lottery and you want to tell me. But you could have texted that as well. <laughs> 
No, every time I have like a mental <coughs> breakdown or something really bad happening or something really good, I stand by your door and I scream, Vincent. <laughs> exactly, and I'm like, hold back your tears. I need to put on a shirt. <laughs> I used to love wearing socks to bed, by the way. Never understood people that did not wear socks. To bed. But now you don't wear them to bed. Anymore. No. I don't know when it changed though. I feel like that's such a personality trait. What do you love the most about yourself? Oh. <laughs> the thing I love most about myself is my taste in music. That doesn't count. Why not? My taste in TV shows. <laughs> no, no, no. That sucks. I don't like the question. Answer the question. I thought we were gonna have a conversation about the blue sky. Okay, and the last question. What is your top 10 TV shows of all time? 10? So we've got One Tree Hill, This Is Us, Grace Anatomy. Um, Insecure. Ah. Jane the Virgin? <laughs> I feel like you always say that. I mean, there are a lot of TV shows I like really enjoyed watching. I don't know if I would want to put them on my top list, you know? I like The Morning Show. I really like that actually. I mean, second season only just started. Hope. I mean, I did like Pose, but like top 10? I mean, you don't have any other alternative. It's not like they're like fighting for the space. <laughs> no, I feel like I do. I just can't think of any right now. All right, guys, thanks for sending in your questions. Obviously, you have found out something about me that you've been wanting to know ever since I was born. <laughs> on, Are you celeb? On social media, I guess. Born on social media. So I hope you're happy that you know now. I just want to quickly mention that I think people have to generally be a little more careful with how and when to ask these questions. Not everyone is really comfortable with their sexuality yet. If you keep asking a person this question, like, are you gay? I mean, I can only speak for myself. I feel like that just kind of made me dislike that part of myself a little more because I thought it was so obvious that I tried to make Make it less obvious and then if you're not out to everyone that you think you should be out to it just makes it really strange and it just kind of makes you hate that part a little more because all your life you felt like you had to deny it and then if there are so many questions about that it's obvious that you that it was obvious. Where am I going with this? I just really want you guys to be careful with how often you ask that question, not just to me, but like to everyone in your life, really. Amen. That being said, I don't mean to say that I'm mad at you for asking or that I was ever angry that any of you guys asked that. If that person hasn't said it yet, then, you know. Just wait until they yeah. do it. <laughs> you might have found out that I did not want to make it like a big topic because I don't think it should be like the biggest topic anymore, especially. If you do want me to talk a bit more in depth about my coming out and my entire experience, I guess, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that. And if you're in doubt with your sexuality, for example, just take your time. If you're sure about your sexuality, but don't feel safe, for example, or don't feel ready to tell everyone yet, go by your own pace and one day you will be ready. That's it from me. Thank you for asking these amazing questions. But all that's left for me to say right now is thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't this. Nos vemos la próxima vez. Bye!